yeah, 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 ye
Yeah, I because I I decided yeah from the last time you were here I don't I don't sell merch anymore. No, you know it's, what I'm it's a business now. It's legit. Yeah, yeah. this is. Uh, you're not you're not selling merch for your podcast. You're selling your namesake. Like you have, you got the LLC right. It's on the way, and a trademark, and you got your brand on the cares none right. Yeah, perfect. That's a business. Yeah, that's a business now. That, that's that's a brand. You have a brand now. Yeah, like, like me, I sell I, I sell merch for my podcast. My podcast is my shit. But your your cares none. If your it, podcast it, is associated with your brand. Yeah, that's so the, that's yeah. the thing. So yeah. like on the website, I put it's a conglomerate of shit. You know, it's a yeah. bunch of different things I'm trying to do. I do know eventually I'm gonna have to like. It's it's hard. Like I'm gonna have to either not do something to put more energy on one thing. That's not true. Well, here's what I'm saying. If I if I really want to kill something, because for instance, editing those videos takes a lot of time, right? But that's I would much personally how I feel right now. I would much rather be using that time to figure out a new ad to make for the clothing line. So I just have to and listen. I have more time in my day, so don't get me wrong. That's why I'm doing it all myself now. But eventually, the bigger it gets, I'm gonna have to delegate some of this work. I don't think I can be uber 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 successful without a team. Yeah, you need a team. Right, so I'm gonna have to eventually you, get. You a would team. need like an, like an editor, or right? A that's guy. that's what need I need. Right, right. Yeah, but like just doing it all by myself while still learning and taking courses, and it's just a lot that, and I can do it for now. But it, eventually, I'm gonna have to scale it up. And, and, and the cool thing is, is that Fiverr website, which I've never used. I've heard a lot of motherfuckers talk about Fiverr. You know Fiverr, right? No, I have no idea what you're So about. Fiverr is a freelance app or website. And instead of going to like a, a major company, you can go on Fiverr and say, hey, I'll do your advertisements for this much or I'll make your thumbnails for this much. And there's different tiers and different qualities. So you can get a guy who just started and he'll charge you five bucks, but he's probably better than you still. And you don't got to worry about it or go up a tier. And this person's a little better for 30 bucks. He'll make them or, you know, and, and it's just freelance work. So that's what it is. It's freelance work mm-hmm. that people offer. And it's a good way to do what I'm talking about, to delegate some of the work without getting like major fucking corporations. And you know what I'm saying? I would like, I would network with in my own circle before I go find strangers to help me out. No, but, but they're certified though. So it's like, and yeah. and you can read it. Like for instance, thumbnails, that's something that I really don't enjoy doing. It's just time. And, and, and to do like a, a correct one, like to do it like to like a proper one. Right. Uh, and then how about this? Uh, so, you know, like the behind the scenes when you post shit and, and doing like hashtags and tagging and all that kind of stuff, you can pay someone else to do that. Or like for, you know what I'm saying? So my point is, and, and listen, I promise you, anybody who's ever doing anything ever, most of them are paying somebody else to do the shit that they don't want to do. Like social media, your Twitter account, your Instagram. All that shit. All, yeah. Anything. It could be t-shirt design. Uh, yeah. You can pay. I saw this one voiceovers the guy the guy has a perfect voice you know what i'm saying and you can pay that guy whatever the fee is you know and there's different fees and tiers you know and then some like so the and it's, it's not like a joke like fiverr is like a big fucking deal you know what i'm saying right, they're, right, like, they're publicly traded so my point is i gotta start taking advantage of that i've met people who are like swear by it especially how about this especially if you're up and coming it's like really because again these people like went to school for it and they do it for a living they all, all they do is uh adobe premiere that's that's what they went to school for. Do they know it? And you mean to tell me I can pay this guy a hundred bucks, and he'll like perfectly edit this? So what he'll do? Let's say hypothetically speaking, a hundred dollars. I give him this podcast and the video version. He edits it, does all the sound perfect, does everything perfect, d- clips it up perfect, and you know, uh, and gives you like eight or nine clips from the main one, which you know, which keeps your everyday thing going. He could do all of it, hundred bucks, and I think he does like two of them. Uh, to me, depending on how much money you got and what time you got and who you know, that could be v- beneficial. Depends on your audience too. It like, depends on the audience. Yeah, right. But but you could uh, also send that guy with your advertising guy <laughs> and based on marketing and and who you want to go through with your social media. If you want to spend like so and so such and such for like Facebook advertisements and Facebook throws out whatever they put together in there, it, it's 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 crazy, man. But uh, you're 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 almost to the point where. You shouldn't do the Fiverr thing. You almost need somebody behind the camera. No, that's definitely what I need, for sure, for sure. Doing all that shit. 100%. 
Like, so I don't have to but, worry about oh, none of this. Almost yeah. like Dierick, but then he takes that and he does all the fucking work after that. You know, like what Dierick does with your wing, with your wing reviews and shit like that. Well, so Dierick records it, but I you, I you, still uh, edited the shit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like you know how Joe Rogan and uh, have you, and every Jamie. every big ass fucking podcaster has that guy behind the scenes that's now, yeah. doing everything, putting shit up on your screen. Right, right, be right, like right. talk about right. this. Here's here's a, here's a question from whatever the. F- that's how you know you made it. Yeah, that's how. You, that's I mean, how you know you fucking I got a podcast. Fucking, I fucking wish, man. And then all you got to do is worried about the the conversation. Yeah, you just talk. So like, you just bounce in this situation. I try to set it up as easy, and I can still have a good conversation. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I'm still worrying about if this is going good. I still got to make sure to look at the red light. You know, I'm still kind of worried about it, whereas if there's another guy, all I got to do is put pure focus on this. So. Because ever since you started, you've been you've been using uh, Google for your, your behind, behind the camera guy. Be like, hey, Google. But, how but imagine having yeah. but so ha- Imagine having a guy that's yeah. editing your shit. Be like, hey, uh, fucking Tom. Yeah, it's a white it's, guy. It's He's Tom. a white guy. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> or an Asian. I feel like an Asian. How big is a right. walrus's penis? How big is a walrus? Oh, hey, hey, pull that shit up. <laughs> hey, Tom, pull that shit up. I need it. Put it on the screen. Uh, no, yeah, but it, it's it's going. Like I said, I have the time now. But eventually, like you know, and, oh, you're not going back at it. You're not going back to the the restaurant. Server industry. life? No, you're done. If anything, if I if you know if I need to make some extra money, I'm, I'm going the route of Uber Eats type thing. You know? Oh yeah, like go grocer, or something like cart. that. And here's the reason why: or freelance work, you know, like maybe so- help someone else create their brand. I've been really strong in considering that. Um, but I just I need my freedom of my time. You know, make your own schedule. Yeah, I, I, and now and now this the last year and a half has has taught me that. And uh, that, that that's extremely important to me. I agree. I need to be I need to be on that level, but I have too many fucking dependents that need me, uh, th- that need that guaranteed shit. I have what it takes to have between like uh, the podcast, which is fucking huge, uh, the um, and the books that I'm working on. But I need that guaranteed thing. Bef- I'm not self sufficient yet. I'm not doing it. I can't do it yet. Right, and, and and all the things that I've been reading and listening to, and the people I've been watching, they say. In that situation where you still got practicality shit you got to deal with, that's fine. And they're never going to tell you to quit your job and no shit. But what they will tell you is, so whatever that extra eight eight minutes you have in a day, you know, then that eight minutes should be going towards that figuring a fucking way out. And then what they also say to anybody else, so this is the value. This is the nuggets. As a matter of fact, going forward, we have to make sure to circle back. But I, I, I'm, on a, I'm really big on trying to give more value now. Give more value? Yeah. To... Everyone. Anyone, yeah. Be, and, you know, and, 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 and the way I personally choose to do that is learn some shit and then let motherfuckers know about it for free. Yeah. And you could choose to do what you, what you may, you know. I would argue that the people who have been fucking with me, maybe I've gained a little bit of trust in them, so maybe like, oh, maybe that is a thing, you know. Uh, and, and most of it, most of the shit I learn is like mindset changes, you know, learning how to just, because at the end of the day, we all know what the fuck is supposed to be doing, but the idea is you got to change and, and come to this place like, is it possible? And that kind of whole thing. So that's kind of what I... And then when you realize it is possible, you have to flip your own fucking switch to make yourself self do that. But don't procrastinate. Be like, oh, I could do it tomorrow. I could do it next week. And, uh, that, and that's where the next shift in yeah, mindset right. change comes, you know? Right. And then there's going to be another shift. And then there's going to be another shift. So, uh, But to go back to the original point where we were talking about uh, the circle back. The, the brand. The <laughs> oh, t- Tom, Tom, uh, Tom behind the scenes. Oh no no. So like, we, I got it. Look, I'm getting better. Yeah, we got it. Getting uh. So when you don't have that much time and you still got kids and life and bills and dogs and all kind of shit, it's like well, killer chickens. Use you got some time in there. Yeah, I I promise you, you got 20 minutes a day. Now think about this. Here's your- I'm not making excuses. Real quick, <laughs> but you have to understand. For the last nine years of my life, my schedule has been. Six and three, which is six on three days off, or what it is now, six on two off. So my days off are never the same. They're always rotating. Whatever my last day, let's say last week my last day off was Tuesday. So this week my days off are Tuesday and Wednesday. And when I'm on those six days, it's not like six to six. It's not like six to 1800. It's fucking 24 hours a day on call. So when I do have time, I, I try I try to put the podcast in. I try to write the fucking novel. I try to get the graphic novel going with the fucking artist and shit. No, I ain't talking about you specifically. Like, listen, if, if you I just you sucks. know what you're doing. I know. It, it sucks. It's just so but there's hard a to lot, find that time. But there's a lot of people that will say, like, man, you know, I don't have enough time. And it's mm. like, dude, nah. you got some time, bro. Let's be honest. If, we, if we're really going to 
kick down. We all kind of full of shit to some degree because 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 I promise you, if they were like, you're you're going to die next Thursday unless you put literally every fucking possible moment that you can, that you are not sleeping on whatever you got to do to not die. I promise you, unless you want to die, you would do it. That's a different motivator. Yeah. I mean, people want to, like, get their feet wet. And that's what j- I'm saying. Jump in. You fucking can't even do it. Yeah. It's the same thing. Even like people that aren't trying to like pursue their dreams. Let's just talk like uh, like a couple that's married. Be like, oh, we can't have a kid right now. We can't afford it. We're not ready for a child. No one's ready for a child yet. Mm, and they it's, all say that, huh? it's not like something. It's not like something you can just be like, okay, now we're ready. Now let's go. You never see people. You'll you'll see people trying to have a kid and trying to have a kid and trying to have a kid, and it's not going to work because that's that's all business. That's all the only thing that there's no fun in it. They're not trying to do it because, you know. They want to enjoy life. They're doing it because they feel like obligated to do it because they've been married for so long. But once you have a kid, it just sort of comes naturally. Second kid, third kid, fourth kid, crazy shit. You know, you know, plenty of baby mamas out there. <laughs> but I'm saying when it comes to like business or life or in general, just fucking go. You're not going to be ready for it. You're going to be fucking slammed with random shit. Like you started your merch, built it to a brand. And all of a sudden you're fucking. You're behind the scenes like, fuck, I have all these orders to get out and I'm, I wasn't ready for it. You're never going to be ready for it. It's got to fucking happen. You just have to adjust. You have to adapt really. Right. Cause that's what's going to happen too. There's going to be a day when, cause, cause right. I know I've talked about this too. Ab nauseum. I think that's how you say it. Um, but I've been learning how to, I'm learning the ad advertisement, learning, how, learning ads. Yeah. Which, uh, which can, you can, once you learn what ads and like how to do it correctly and how to use it, then you can use that with any business you want. What are ads? Internet commercials? Yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Pretty that's much. What, that's what I don't, but it's not necessarily just the internet. It could be an ad could be like on a bus, side of a bus, you know, just uh, AdSense, you know, just trying to understand what gets people ticking, which is also kind of like a psycho- psychology thing and, and branding, you know, and, and, and instead of like, for, so for instance, instead of selling what the the specs are of your shit, sell what, sell the vibe of the people who buy your shit and then have the specs on the back end. And that's what Apple does very well. You don't really hear them talking about their features that much. No, because it's been the same since 2007. <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. Right, right. <laughs> but but, but right. why are they killing it, though? Because they figured out ad game. Yeah. They figured the shit out perfectly. Look at how much fun they're having in this commercial. You know what I'm saying? I want to have that fun. And they create this, like, and then and then they, they figured it out to the, they did it so well that it's like pop culture to, if you don't have an iPhone, you're not cool. Yeah. That's how good of branding they've done. Yeah. And that's why they're like the, one of the most profitable companies in the world because they figured out the ads. What is that, a galaxy, you fucking homeless? Yeah. What is it, a blue bubble? <laughs> is it what, what color are the bubbles? I, I, I get fucking made fun of every time. They're, they're almost about to shame me into getting one. I fucking, I fuck these iPhone motherfuckers. I can't do it. Um, I can't do it. But, can't. But, but as far as the ads, though, it makes sense why they're vicious. You oh, know? I, I could just, ever since you mentioned it on a bus, I just picture a bus getting in a car accident and... Just says cares none on the fucking side of the bus after he fucking <laughs> that'd be, that'd be great, T-bones a goddamn truck <laughs> in an intersection. That would actually work pretty well. <laughs> cares none. Uh, so I'm trying to understand. So I'm understanding, or and I'm I'm taking literally taking a course before you got here. I'm trying to understand how to use the shit, you know, and how and how to make it. So the reason why I brought that up, because then when I really start taking advantage of this information that I'm learning, then I'm going to get it and seen in front of a bunch of eyes, you know. Yeah. That's the cool thing. So any, here, here's a little nugget. For anyone who has any business, whatever it is you're doing, if you're doing something on your own, if you are not finding a way to take care of the Facebook ads and Instagram ads, you're literally retarded. And let me tell you why. It's because it's connected to 2 billion people on just Facebook alone, not to mention the people that are on Instagram. And it's like, if you can figure out the how to get whatever it is you're selling or what you're offering or you're in front of the correct people, and it's free. It's like you really you you know it's it's really dumb. Now you pay for the ad itself, which is still relative. It's extremely cheap, all things considered. And listen, Facebook tells you the audience, the age. You get to choose the audience. You get to choose the age range. You get a, everything. Yeah, you get to choose how much you want to put in per day. Per towards, day, yep. the, the interest. Yep. All kind of shit. So there's all these tools that people don't even realize. I didn't realize until I paid for some fucking court. I'm like, oh, that's it. Wait. So that's why it's guaranteed. So that's why if if I if I learn the ads, it don't matter what I'm doing. I you can so there's a thing called I just learned this today. There's a thing called Facebook Blueprint, 
right? Mm -hmm. And they teach you, they break it down and teach you everything about Facebook and the ads and how to use it and shit for business, right? Right. And then you could take a test, which you have to pay for. But then if you pass, now you're fucking Facebook, whatever, certified. And you can get a job on that. You can get a job on that alone because it's such a vicious tool. All the big companies are using these Facebook ads. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. There's a thing called... Here's another piece of... Here's Does another, it transfer over to Instagram, too, because they share yeah, the same it, messenger? It, well, they, they Facebook owns Instagram. Right. So it's the same. Yeah. So it'll be on both. So you can... Yep. So if you do, if you buy an ad on Facebook, there'll be pieces of ad on Instagram. You That's know? awesome. Yeah. I, I, think I, I think I remember that. So so here's what I'm saying. Here's the crazy part is you can target specifically who you want. And then... It, but here, there's what? 300 something million people in, 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 you know, 330, right? United States, right? And million, not people. <laughs> I promise you, there's a, because of the algorithms, and you know, this shit's perfect now, right? They know the people who would be very, very similar to you and I. Oh, yeah. Right? Yep. So then they have, the, there's this part, car, it's called tar, uh, retargeting. So it's retargeting campaign, retargeting ads. So let's say you go to my website and you buy. A hoodie. Mm-hmm. I use this Facebook Pixel thing that's on my on the website. It takes all your data, all of it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And and it's not like your like credit card data. Like uh, even though I would have a person because it's on my site, but that, you know what I mean. Like all the the interest and shit. Then you can what's create what's called a lookalike group, and then and these are all people that are extremely similar to you. Mm-hmm. And all the people that are in my that bought for me, and then you could just target the winning ad. So you find what you have to test your ad, find the winning one, and then you just target all those people. You just target the fuck out of them. And here's the thing about ad. What do we know about ads, right? I'm learning this shit now. I'm, I feel I feel like I'm becoming a little bit of a, pro, a professional. You just got to keep seeing it. The more you see it, you're like, okay, it just must be a sign. And at first, so so here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Which is yeah, which is bullshit. I remember when I before even when I first started making content, I was like, you know what, I just don't want to annoy people. You know, like you just want oh you're posting too much, right? Because that's something I had to get over. Because it's like, dude, I need you to see it. I want you to see it. it, whether you like it or not. You seeing it works. But don't shove it down my fucking face. If I Google like a knife set, uh, or if I go to Amazon and I go to a knife set, and then I go to Facebook and I see fucking knife sets for the next two fucking weeks, I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. But but. But that's the retargeting. But here's the thing. Those people, and again, it's not, it doesn't work for 100%. You know what they don't do? They don't tell you, they don't realize that you already bought a fucking knife set. Yeah, they, have, they got to fix that. <laughs> no, the, you know what? No, that, that's not a problem, actually, because what they do is they're tar- – no, it, well, you, I, if anything, we should be able to turn it off or something like that. I think maybe you can. Like, I'm not interested in this type of ad. I think you can do that. Oh, yeah. Was this helpful and shit like that? Yeah, but yeah. I, I even think it's literally like, like, please stop, don't show me this ad, yeah. whatever. But my point is... Facebook, Facebook sp- uh, specifically, though. Yes. All right, okay. So here's my point. So when you when you buy something on the internet... Oh, excuse me, music, excuse me, music. Remember when you first heard a song and you're like, all right. Yeah. And, and then you hear it again, all right. Yeah. And then then you like it. You don't really like it the first time. That happens to every fucking Cardi B song I ever hear. Right, right, right. I hear it, and I'm like, this is trash. You, I'm like, when it's up, then it's up. Then yeah. It's, I'm like, what the it's, fuck it's, is it in my head? It's because they've, you've just heard on TikTok. Right. You just heard it. Oh, yeah. TikTok All of TikTok is huge about that. Yep. That's why if you can go viral on a TikTok video, you're you're gangster. Your song's popping. But it's not even just on Facebook. It's not even just on, like, Facebook. If you look on up something and then you go like research a fucking recipe for whatever the fuck in the middle of the recipe there's gonna be a little ad sitting there for the things you've clicked on the same shit that you were looking at like a day ago and i think that that's google ads yeah you know what i'm saying so that and it's all algorithm so again anything that what do they say if 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 it's free you're the product you know what i'm saying right so but again instead of being salty about it Mm -hmm. just fucking learn it and now I can just scale my business up. And here, and, and like I was talking to Steve the other day, I'm not, I don't feel like guilty because the algorithm is that good that you, it would show it in front of someone who would most likely be interested in something that you would sell. Right. So it's like, no, nah, you want to see it. You just don't know you want to see it yet, kind of. My audience would, my audience would fucking absolutely love this, your stuff. 
and all kind of stuff. I bet you wings. You know what I'm saying? You can do anything. Yeah. So like, once here's another thing. Once I learned the ads like vicious, then I can flip that for everything. So the wing review, then I'll know how to get the wing review in front of the right people so that I can blow that up. And, and like I said, we have access to all the people. P- what happens is you just don't know how to use it because it's a learning curve. Right. Which goes into the original point. That that learning curve, in order to be dope, you got to go through that learning curve. There's something that you haven't tapped yet that mm. I'd be willing to help you with for absolutely fucking free. And that's sponsoring. What like, do you mean? Like your character, like an alcoholic? No, like God a damn. sponsor. My name's uh, Chris. <laughs> this is my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I would be a horrible fucking sponsor. You'd be like, oh, I'd be, I'd be a great sponsor. I fell off the wagon. Oh, fuck it, me too. Let's go. Let's just do it. <laughs> oh yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> it, it would be bad. Yeah, you can't be that. Guy. No, I mean like sponsor, like uh, like like your your care is none brand. I would take time out of my my podcast. Like I already have a I already have a sponsor, it's Ball Wash, whatever. But I I would. I would let, I would take your brand, and I would throw it out to my people, and yeah, I would go check it out. Yeah. I'd be like, go go check this out. You would give me the incentive of, um, like a discount code, like for ten percent or something. Yeah, like how they do the podcast we listen to. Right, right. and I would and I, and I would send it, and I would send my people to you, and you would just you you would see an uptick in like the gray area, and, and vice versa. Right, right. No, no, oh, for sure. Yeah, I, it's, I have not taken advantage of that yet. I will. You, you wanna? Yeah, we'll we'll do we'll do an ad. Fuck it. I will I will do it for free. The only thing, like I will. No, I'll, but I can do it for you too, though. So there yeah, you go. Just, you just just or, change or, it up. Yeah, you know, just put like proud sponsor of the Gray Area Podcast or whatever. Yeah, yeah, for sure, hundred percent. And I will tell my people and code. Can you, can you do codes? Are you to the point where you could coding? Not like like if they were to check out from caresnone.com. Like a promo code? Yeah. Yeah. You got that shit? Yeah. All right. You make me a promo code, and I'll send it to my people, and I guarantee yeah. you, you'll see it. 100%. 100%. Lock it down, right? Yeah, 100%. Locked it down. And we'll do down. the same thing. Yeah. Right. That, uh, I got a, the, the company that holds my website does all that. That's awesome. With the promo codes and shit. Mm-hmm. But anyways, but I'm, I'm learning all this shit, man. And I, he, he, here's, here's how I'm, I'm so balls deep in this shit, right? Mm-hmm. That I didn't even realize some of that, the, what was going on in the world the last day or two with the cops and then the dude in the army. Like, Why like, the fuck does this always happen when we have a fucking podcast, by the way? <laughs> right, 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 right. The Ebony and Ivory episode. Up, oh, person of color got shot by a white person. <laughs> it must be time for another Ebony and Ivory episode. <laughs> That's a great point. And I, but it, I, I didn't even know. Like, so I Which just one came, are, you, are we talking about, Dante, right? So there, like, there were two of them that weren't great. From what I saw, but again, my, the oh, the re- one in Virginia, the, yes, the, the 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 army guy, yes, the army dude, yeah, okay, that one too. I'm paying attention to both of them, um, so, and I and I wasn't, and, and 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 normally I'm aware of like that shit, but I've been like so like fucking you know, which is I, I is don't it, care about good? my people, I care about my clothing line, no, not which is cl- not true at all. It's not just the clothing line. It's, You're just it, to me, I'm overwhelmed with, with so much shit, but it's an excitement though. I'm excited as fuck. I know, like my podcast <laughs> is based on. Society, culture, and politics. Politics is the underside of culture. So whatever you see going on in culture, you're seeing a lot of fucked up shit with politics and politicians using what's going on in culture and pop culture and using that as an incentive for people to get like fucking votes. So you'll see, you'll see things that are going on with um, like, like, like racial intensity, BLM. Antifa, and you'll see like Democrats and Republicans using that as their inv- advantage to promote, hey, vote for me because I'm against BLM, or vote for me because I'm for BLM, and it's fucked up. You see Joe Biden coming out all the time saying, uh, Jim Crow this, and Jim Crow that, and this is a Jim Crow law, and Georgia shouldn't do this because it's voter suppression. Joe Biden is fucking horrible human being, okay? He's a hor- the The racist shit that he has said in the last 40 years that he's been in the fucking Senate far surpasses the shit that he's saying is voter suppression in Georgia and um, it, it's illegal and now we're go- he's going after fucking automatic weapons. Newsflash, Joe Biden with your fucking Velcro shoes. There are no automatic weapons in the street. You think you're going to take away fucking guns from the actual people that are doing it the right way? It's like, oh, we're going to take all cars away from fucking everybody because some 
dumb fuck out of DUI and hit somebody. It doesn't work. To, uh, like guns are, there's no automatic weapons in the street. You think you think fucking criminals are going to just be sitting there and be like, oh well, we can't do armed robbery anymore. No, it isn't the, isn't the the argument that the automatic the automatic weapons are the ones that are doing the mass shootings. But they're, I mean, in you don't see the, like a guy a lot of times with like his his gun that he that you probably get in the hood. He ain't doing no mass shootings. They kill themselves, but they're not killing thirty there's, randoms. Yeah, there's no automatic weapons in any of these mass shootings. That, I mean, to tell you the truth, all of this is like semi-automatic, which means also oh, semi-automatic. Be like ta 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 ta. It's not like okay, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so so that's okay. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, Dante Wright, and then there was a army officer in uh, Virginia, and uh, wait, wait. So why is there? So obviously there's a difference between that 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 or then right there's a difference. You hold the trigger down it's right. multiple rounds. That's right. un, that's an automatic weapon. A semi-automatic is you pull the trigger each time a bullet fires. Da 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 da. And da, then da. what then what are the other ones? Like that's not like a handgun. Well, okay, you got um you got bolt action which is you have to actually pull the lever every time. It's like boom. Ch- ch- so that's boom, um, like a sniper ch- ch- almost. Boom. Yeah. Could okay, be. that's one round you got to reload it manually each time. Semi-automatic is dot, 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 dot. Automatic is... And then you got, like, fucking muzzle loader, which is, like, old school, like, 1775. Be like, boom! And you pour in fucking powder. It takes about 30 fucking seconds. You're like, ja! I always thought war back in the day was so ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I'm like, like, what? Like, I will, if you fucking don't hit me with that first round, I am running up on you within 30 seconds. I'm going to fuck you up. And then they had those things at the end. How come they don't really have those too much no more? Bayonets? Yeah. Oh, they still exist. <laughs> they, 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 M16s, M4s, they have fixed bayonets. It's a thing where you, you actually... And, and bayonets are so ridiculously outdated because bayonets were for, like, trench warfare. <laughs> right, right. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going from this trench... 20 yards to this trench and we're just gonna stab those motherfuckers as we come over that's a bayonet and it's a fucking gruesome war back in the day <laughs> yeah. was gruesome as shit it was like like face to face yeah see, i've yeah. seen like some videos and yeah. shit and i'm just like and they were like yeah this is the correct uh this is how it was i'm like so you'd be in, you'd be in your bunker yep or your trench right you'd make your shot and then you'd go but then they're all sh- they're shooting while you're running yeah a couple of you get knocked out then you know it, and it it didn't seem smart. It's strength in numbers. Like, if you look so at they, the, they really were, like, just numbers. Yeah. If you look at, uh, I think D-Day was pretty much, like, D-Day in Vietnam was, like, the last of this craziness, where you <laughs> yeah, just, that shit, like, this shit was we are just going to flood the beach <laughs> with hundreds of thousands of people. They can't get us all. As long as we break through some of it, we'll be able to stop them. That's yeah. pretty much what it was. And then, and, uh, World War, Trench Warfare of World War, um, one in World War Two, they they used uh, mustard gas, which is a gas that sits low. So if you shot it, and it didn't hit the trench, it would dissipate and find the low ground, and it would go into a trench, and you would fucking have nerve damage, and you would choke to death, and it would be fucking horrible as fuck. <laughs> that sounds awful. It's so bad. That's awful. The, like war of back in the, that's why there's a Gen- Geneva Conventions and there's a code of conduct and shit, but. I mean, like America follows. Oh, we can't do this. We can't do this. We got to do. It's, it's like, um, it's like, uh, what's it called? Rules of engagement, sort of sh- shit. And we can't, we can't uh, use certain weapons. We can't use gas. We can't use mustard gas. And uh, you know, you have, you know, Russia, Syria, North Korea, China. They're like, yeah, we're not gonna fucking sign that. We're gonna kill you any way we fucking want to. We're not going to play by the rules. But America has to play by the rules. But here, wait, so he, but here's my opinion. That's that's what they say. I, I'm my again. What do I know? I'm just some guy. But my belief would be, anyone who became the big dick in the world, yep. definitely didn't do it the nice way. So I don't think we got to where we are by being sweet. Oh no, I think we're scandalous as fuck. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> England wasn't here. They had to fucking they had to go across a whole fucking ocean to uh, you know fight us, and they were like, and we were already had we already had the. Was, we had the home field. It's our home field now. But then you can lose a home field advantage. Like, the unfortunately, the Native Americans, the indigenous people, blew a 50-state lead to the American army to uh, just get absolutely decimated, and, and it was fucking horrible. But that's how the times worked. Be like, you have this. I want that. 
if you could defend it, good. If you can't, <laughs> right, right. if you can't, it belongs to me now. And that's just how war worked now. But that's this America of today is not the America of back in the day. So I don't want to hear. <laughs> right. I don't want to hear that fucking. No, but 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 even still, even and I've talked about this on the podcast before. Like we're the ones who dropped the atomic bomb. Like we let you know we weren't fucking around. Japanese people are stubborn as shit. They have the samurai code. They're very fucking disciplined. They're like, you are going to have to absolutely <laughs> destroy us in order for they, so that's the only way we could. And that's and that's pretty much. <laughs> they what had happened. the kamikaze. Now that shit is crazy to me. Yeah. What do you know about the kamikazes? The kamikaze fighter pilots, pretty much like well. I'm out of bullets. I'm just going to use my fucking plane as a fucking missile and fly it. Now, into but they, now you knew you were getting in that situation, though, right? They all knew that that was what was going to happen. They, they, they knew they knew going into it that that was a possibility. Oh, uh, okay. It wasn't guaranteed. That's why, if you look at the death of um, uh, the Pacific War, J- Japan had for for a smaller island than America had more deaths than fucking Germany because they're stubborn as shit. Their, their warrior ethics and their code is something to be respected. It's fucking... Well, I know, like, the it's one... That, like, if I'm not mistaken, the, the dude who whose idea it was to do the kamikaze thing and convinced all those people, th- he, like, killed himself in, like, like honorable fashion. Seppuku. Yeah, is that when you stick the knife to yep, the side? And you pull it across your fucking chest and you go up. And you're, sitting there, <laughs> so and, you're, and you're sitting there fucking wide awake, just like, I... But that seppuku is more like, I have dishonored my clan, my tribe, my people. Yeah, so he felt like he fucked up. He feel like he fucked up. Right, so right. if you feel like... The, seppuku is the honorable way of dying where you take your fucking Tonto blade, which all Japanese soldiers had. They had a fucking samurai sword in their goddamn... They, in their um, on, on their side. It wasn't a samurai sword. It was their Tonto. Samurai swords are longer. Tontos are smaller. This is part I like I I I love Japanese culture. No, just it, I, I'm like, hey, it, I'm, it, I'm I'm loving this. Keep it, talking, it, baby. It's part of it's start it's part of the fucking like book I'm writing and everything. But it's oh okay, all, yeah, all, we gotta get into fuck, it. We gotta get into it. It's all fiction. Though. But the the, the the samurai code didn't die in the 1800s. It went into the Japanese Japanese Empire. These people were the hardest of the most hardcore motherfuckers on the planet. <laughs> Almost if, like uh, the, if they did, the Unsullied or from uh, Game of Thrones. Yes, but they had their dicks. <laughs> <laughs> is it the Sullied or the Unsullied? Unsullied. What, is, yeah. what does Unsullied mean? Or is that just the name of them? The the Unsullied are un... Um, they haven't been affected by the outside world. They're yeah. all... They're not indoctrinated? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that word, motherfucker. And we're not I'm, gonna we're not gonna give you a dick, so you can't have any of the hormones that makes you want to do something else. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, but uh, okay, yeah, but the, so the samurais, you know, they were close to that. Yeah, they had the same code in World War II. If they let down their officer, they would either perform seppuku, which is an honorable suicide, or they would bow their heads, and the fucking officer would take their fucking head off with their samurai. Sword. <laughs> which is crazy. Now, let me ask you this: What is it? What is your, your belief? How do you get motherfuckers to have that kind of loyalty to the to the cause? Discipline from birth, right? So like it's from this, the jump. this is this is the house of the rising sun. This is the Japanese Empire. You do it for the emperor. You do it for Japan. Everyone else is a fucking bitch. No one else matters. And if they take you, it's because you fucked up. If if they if, if they beat you, it's because you fucking failed. It's not because Japan is weak. It's because you are the weak link from Japan, and you need to go away. So you either fucking kill yourself, you jump in a plane and you fly that into a fucking battleship, or you bow your fucking head in disgrace and we take your fucking head in front of your kids so your kids don't grow up to be a fucking pathetic piece of shit like their dad was. Now, now let me and that's just <laughs> crazy fucking discipline in Japan. It's ridiculous. So let me ask you this. Wh- who's to say, because maybe in American values we don't believe in that, that that's wrong in the grand scheme of the universe. They're, so they're, those people have been on this earth just like people, you know what I'm saying? And they've just decided, no, nah, we're going to do our shit this way. And we've decided that, that shit's crazy. We're going to do it our way. Whose way is right and wrong at the end of the day? Well, American heart and bravery of the American soldier is also to be respected because we do that for 
our friends and family we would sacrifice they sacrifice for country and discipline and honor we do it for our kids and our friends and our love so which wouldn't you say that's more powerful oh god it depends yeah, I mean, are they both powerful it's very fucking powerful which very, which one would do you think if works you, the best? if you put heart against discipline <laughs> it's like rocky versus like yeah, yeah it's right. like it's like even drago versus rocky really I mean, if, if you if you think about it, it you got I, Ivan Drago, which is like Mother Russia, and I'm doing it this way. Take the fucking steroids out of it, but if so, heart then, heart at least in that movie that an Amer- that Americans wrote in that fucking movie, right? Yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah, heart works. Heart heart works. Heart bravery, family, love, discipline, honor, respect. It's almost like light side, dark side, but discipline, honor, and respect, and and um, just straight up loyalty is something to be respected. And Japan did it better than fucking England, which is one of the greatest fucking empires of all time. Better did it better than fucking Rome, which was also one of the greatest empires of all time. America has a different kind of empire. We have a we have a heart and society and culture and we're all in this together. And we have our warrior class and we have our smart. We 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 have our educated and we have our soldiers. We have the brawn and we have the brains. Japan was follow the crown, follow the emperor, and it's just fucking straight up brawn that are just like, this is how it must be done. Almost like brainwashed. Mm. I will do anything I can for my emperor. And, yeah, but but then over here we kind of we hit you we hit you with a, like a combo almost. Yeah, and they just they got like they got one vicious hit and it'll hit your ass. But sometimes that combo can get you too. Yeah, that fucking like like Pearl Harbor. But they're getting smarter now though. All the motherfuckers over the whole side over there. Like I feel like they're. I don't know, man. Let me let me ask you. Me and Dieri talk about this all the time. Really quick before we jump into no, that. No, go ahead. Japan is so fucking disciplined and badass that after World War II, we didn't let them have an army. They don't even have an army now. We are their defense. If you fuck with Japan, you fuck with the United States now. Because we were I not did, going I didn't know that. We can we're not going to deal with that kind of fucking mentality of you it's think they, and they, you think they still got it? It's still there. there. There there are people there that still have it. I mean, you got those fucking weebs and those fucking anime motherfucking Asians with the huge tits that like the like like yeah, colors and right. dress like cats. I, I get that. I, <laughs> right, I get it. Right, right. right. But the mentality of the discipline of Japan is still there. They park color coordinated in their parking lots. Okay? They are they do not look at their phones on subway trains. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I think mean, that's all we do, one hundred percent. Right. If they if they have a if they have a cough or a, a, a sniffle or a cold, like they were wearing mask shit way before yeah. we were. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But they do it. Like, they for get real. off the train at the next stop, even though their stop is four fucking stops down the fucking road. So they're just di- so the th- discipline is there. We cannot. And America at the time, like now, I don't give it. Think we care, but then we were like, you are not allowed to have an army. You're not allowed to fucking do it. We did that with Germany in World War One, and then fucking World War One, Germany loses, and then all of a sudden, fucking World War Two is like five years fucking later because Hitler comes up, talks to a, a country that's down and out, blames it on a certain people, the Jews or whatever, and then fucking Germany becomes a fucking world power in less than ten years. We're not gonna look at Japan and be like, we're not making the same mistake with you fucking crazy people. You guys are fucking. You took two fucking. You took two nukes. You lost billions of people. You don't have the population of the United States, and your discipline is ridiculous. We are not going to allow you to have another military again. Yeah, it's terrifying. Right, right that right. discipline shit is terrifying. So yeah, go ahead. You and Eric. Well, no, but even to, to to add in on that, the discipline's a motherfucker, though. I I I tried to stay away from it for so long as a young man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or as an adolescent, I'm like, I don't want that. I remember my grandmother tried to get me into some. Some like you know ROT not ROTC but st- structured things like that to give me discipline right. and I fought it man I fought that shit and one of the companies that she wanted me to go to or the, of the groups you had to like willingly go in right and I and I caught wind to this I'm like I don't want to do it right. <laughs> they're no, like no, and they try to talk me I'm like no like if it's up to me no yeah and so I, I didn't have to go thank God at the time right knowing what I know now 
like, fuck, that discipline shit is gangster as fuck. Because, like, when you know you got and, like, right now I'm trying to teach myself even more discipline because I'm my own boss now. Ain't nobody telling me what to do, so you have to have the discipline to do it. Right. When it's easy to go not do it. Like, it's easy to just go outside and just walk around, you know? The, yeah, the American way of thinking, whether military culture or otherwise, is I'll do it if I want to. Like, I, I, I joined the military because I wanted to. I, I was patriotic. I wanted to fight. You know, I wanted... I saw... 9-11 thing I was like fucking send me right Japan or discipline way of thinking is like I have to do this or I'm going to fucking die if I don't do this I am dead that's how discipline that, that's how discipline in the east works if I don't do this I'm dead I have <laughs> yeah. to do it that, like we have we have the draft so it's like are, a different discipline yeah we have we have the they don't do it out of fear they do it out of honor and respect because they're they're just raised differently you're not allowed to have a difference of opinion from somebody that is more elder to you in the east because they have been through it they earned their title you are nothing you need to earn their respect you need to have the discipline to do everything they fucking say for the crown or the empire or whatever america is like i love my country i choose to do this that's why we shouldn't have a draft because if you're going to have somebody volunteer it's different than having someone forced to do it with the western mentality of america be like, oh, you have to join because we drafted you, and I don't want this person that didn't want to join the first, in the first place, next to me, fucking fighting with right, me. Right, because it, yeah, because I'm not gonna give a fuck. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. they're not gonna give a fuck about me, but I'm gonna. It's my brain is made to care about how, taking. Care now of I think that. maybe you can get that love, but just off the top, you don't have it off the top because you're not doing it for the same reason. Especially in America nowadays, no one's <laughs> gonna tell people how to live their fucking lives, even though we've just pretty much. I mean, that's literally it. what my whole brand is about. <laughs> Right, <laughs> live your life the way you fucking want to, right? So, I, and I that comes that. out perfectly at the time where everyone's sick and tired of listening to the government be like, "You must do this. You must do this. You must stay home." Big government is telling the people in small business what they have to do, and they're they're killing small business. They're killing the mom and pop shops while everything else is growing, like Amazon, Target, fucking all the big dogs, Walmart. All the big dogs are still there because United Airlines and the airlines they could they could follow procedures of you gotta wear a face mask you gotta social distance and six feet but are they social distancing the flights hell no no you're in fucking nuts to butts in there so you go into a fucking terminal everything's separated you can't sit here blah 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 and then you get on the plane you're fucking rubbing dicks with some in, Joe the, in, in the beginning you. they weren't doing like i saw at least i saw some but i thought then i saw some clips where everyone's still you know dick to dick yeah it's fucked up yeah it's it's weird it's, it's almost like it's a lot of it's for show yeah that, I mean, that's why that's why America's done. They care as none now. They're like, I don't give a shit, okay? I listened to you <laughs> slow the curve fucking a year ago, and that was supposed to take two weeks, and it's been over a year. My kids haven't gone to school. I haven't had a job. You think fucking $1,400 randomly is going to fucking do anything? S- right. Do anything? And not to mention, you give us $1,400 that one time, and, and now we're going to be paying that off for the next 10 years, up to $17,000 on our taxes? No one wants to fucking talk about that shit. They didn't ask us if we wanted $1,400. They automatically gave it to us. And now because they did that, we're going to get our fucking asses taxed because Joe Biden is going to tax the ever-living shit out of us, like close to $2 trillion more than two trillion trillion dollars it's like damn near 90 some ridiculous amount of money trillion that we don't we, we don't even have in our gdp we don't even make that in a year and we're gonna get our asses taxed for a green new deal that we can't even prove is a fucking problem what are we why the first day he was in office he took he, he he got rid of the keystone xl pipeline okay it's a pipeline that goes from Canada to Texas. We take Canadian. This is what I do for my job. We we take Can, <laughs> we take Canadian crude oil. We pipeline it down to fucking Texas. Pipeline it. If the pipeline's not done, and we refine it and we make gasoline, which is why our gas and everything. And we were self sufficient on our own gasoline. That's why our gas was like one dollar and sixty some cents before Biden took over. Biden comes in, kills the XL pipeline because it's not energy efficient he's trying to be energy efficient but what's more energy and green when you think about it a pipeline underground that's cased in cement that goes from canada to fucking texas or taking all that crude oil and putting it on rail cars and taking a train from canada to texas to get it refined 
A pipeline is definitely more green and healthy for the environment than a fucking train going from Canada to fucking Texas because it's a pipeline. It's pushed from one end and it, it's, it's received on the other end. So let me ask you this. What, what is the rebuttal to that? The rebuttal to that is the reason that they, he did that is because Warren Buffett owns the train <laughs> trains. No, I'm saying so what are, what are the people who are for getting rid of that pipeline? What, what is their argument? They, why would like, they? Why are they saying it's 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 not green? No one's saying that the pipeline's not green. They're saying that it goes through possible lands that shouldn't be messed with. Maybe uh, indigenous peoples don't want a pipeline going through their land, even though it's going to be buried. But now it's just got it. Now it's 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 just. So is, is that the biggest thing? Is there, people there, are pissed off? Is going through people's? Pretty much, yeah. There's territories that it would have to go through and stuff as a pipeline, but it would be buried. It would be underground. But now it has to be trucked. It's the green. Is there any way to go around it? Yeah, but you don't want to have too many fucking angles on a pipeline. A good point. You kind of because it build, as it builds it builds pressure and you can have breaks and stuff like that. So you want it to be as straight as possible. But wouldn't you? What about in the long run? Wouldn't it make sense to have all electric shit? Isn't that what the whole idea is? That like go, end up going electric? Yeah, but. We don't have the capability right now to get there. There's no fucking way we could be electric sufficient. Because how do you make well, electricity? Well, I say how long do you think that it gets to? How long do you think? I feel like I've heard things within like the next ten years, ten fifteen years. You it should, it, all all cars could be electric. Have you ever seen a lithium mine that mm. that builds these? The main thing that builds up these batteries. How big are they? They're fucking huge, dude. <laughs> like where? Like where are they? Africa. They are ridiculous and not to mention you're still going to need plastics you're going to need plastics for your cars or your batteries or your electric vehicles and plastics are petroleum fossil fuels wind you don't just go to a wind turbine tree and pick up a fucking wind turbine you have to melt metal you have to build steel you need the fucking plastics and when that shit fucking breaks it's almost fucking worse not to mention it kills the migratory pattern of like thousands of fucking birds Thousands, millions. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Right now, we, we have to have fossil fuels. We have plenty of fossil fuels. We can be more green. We can't be more green than we are right now. Because we, we've we cut down on CO2 emissions. We've cut down on carbon emissions. We have fucking vehicle emissions exhaust checks that we have to do for our vehicle all the fucking time you think by the way this is a globe this isn't a flat earth thing it's not like whatever america puts into the atmosphere stays over the american atmosphere we there's china there's industrialized places in africa and russia and india and you think they give a fuck what they put into the atmosphere they don't give a shit. So we could do everything that we possibly can do to be more green, and we have. We have cleaner water. We have better emissions. We've cut down on CO2. We don't need to be part of a Paris Treaty Accord and be like, oh, we are part of the better business, blah, 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 to make the world better. China's not going to do it. Africa's not going to do it. The, continents, uh, uh, the continent of Africa is not going to do it. India's not going to do it. Russia's not going to do it. They're going to look at us and our Paris Treaty and our Green New Deal and be like, fuck you. We don't have to listen to you. And then the world is still going to rotate. And we're still going to pick up all the shit in China and India in our own atmosphere eventually. We've done more than those countries that are not part of this Paris Accord. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear that oh, America is not doing its part. We've done more than enough. China, the countries in Africa that are industrialized, Russia, Pakistan, India, they give zero fucks. Zero. Now let me ask you this. What about the people who say... Well, you lead by example. Or is that like just too... Like every, too <laughs> every country on the planet fucking hates us. Like, France, That's what I always say. We're just, we just the big dicks, but they don't... They, yeah, they, don't they really know it too. We, we like, like the big dog in the fucking yard. Motherfuckers will come here, though, for that opportunity, though. Oh, yeah. So yeah. You, you don't got to like it. I bet y'all come here to check it out. Listen, yeah. and I don't, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people who feel like I, I was lucky to be born in these, in these walls. I could have easily... Any of us. So, like... I don't personally believe in that. I'm fucking American. Fuck you. Oh, hell no. Because I'm like, no. like I totally got lucky to be here. So I'm still a little bit more cool. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm not mistaken, the whole vibe of America is, you know, it's it's like kind of, oh, my shit came out. I can still hear you. Yeah, no, it, it came out. But the whole vibe of America is like we together on this. That's how, at least that's how I felt. Yeah. 
America, we're gonna fight amongst ourselves. We're gonna talk shit. We're gonna have our we're gonna have our fucking racial tension. But, but, you, but there's a reason culture. why. It's because we're like the only diverse fucking place on in the world as diverse as we are. That's why we argue as much as we do. Right. It's, it's but, going to happen. But but we're not gonna have other countries come and look at America and pick a side, uh, Republican, conservative, liberal, whatever. And no one's going to come over here and uh, like Russia or China and pick a side on an American conflict without both people or both conflicts or both sides in that conflict in America looking at that country and saying, this is a fucking family problem. Back the fuck up. It does not fucking concern you. They, they would, th- those countries would love n- nothing more than, than to fucking see us divided. But it, at and, the, and it's probably it, a lot of countries and you can easily do that with the internet to like, I mean, the, isn't that what a lot of the, the Russia shit is? Like they're, they're probing us and letting make us fight even more. They, they hmm. or maybe I don't know much about that. Maybe that's conspiracy, but I, I just know that that's that's probably the new warfare now. Russia? I don't see too many motherfuckers fighting, fighting. No, no, no one's fighting, fighting. There, yeah. there, are, there's, there's propaganda that they go out there, and there's news yeah. sources, and there's, they're, they're in the ears of people that are easily manipulated and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, right. But they're not gonna straight up choose fucking sides because America's gonna co- America in the end would come together and they're gonna look and be like stay the f- Russia this is an American problem back the fuck up okay but as we're over here talking about you know Dwayne Wright and uh, the police office uh, police uh, mm, uh, the army officer from Virginia and Ashley Bobbitt and we have the racial fucking tension and uh, the fucking George Floyd's sh- uh, Derek Chauvin fucking Case. trial going on right now Russia's making fucking deals with China uh, they're, they're they're fucking best buddies. Biden's trying to get back with Iran. We have a fucking wide open goddamn border, southern border, because all due respect, I mean, I'm not trying to. Everybody knows what side I'm on. Everybody realizes I'm a conservative. I'm a, I'm a Republican. But we haven't heard shit about migrant caravans for the past four years, and then all of a sudden Biden shows up, and everyone's like, "Woo! It's fucking on on delay. Just fucking show the fuck up and get over here." And now, now Biden's sitting there like, you know what? The Biden administration's like, you know what? We're going to, like, it's his fucking idea. We're, we're going to start uh, building a wall to, to deal with this crisis down on the, on the southern border. Wait, Biden came out like, and said that? Yeah. His, the administration <laughs> be like, why did you fucking stop it in the first place? It's just, it's, it's just, it's Jack the fuck up. How come I ever heard about it? Like, he's, he came out and said he wants to continue building the wall? Uh, Jen Psaki, his press secretary, has come out and said that they're looking at um, <laughs> the the possibility of building and <laughs> and closing gaps in our southern border, like it's her fucking and the Biden administration's fucking idea. It is not. It is not. The guy is detrimental to American society. Did, did they word it all different too? Instead of wording it just oh yeah, like it's their idea. Like oh, to me, it's like let's build what, a wall. Look at what, <laughs> look at what we did. No, there's like border security and building border security. Meanwhile, they have that's one thing about Trump. He he made it real simple for you. We're gonna like, build a wall. I'm, I'm, <laughs> we're gonna build a wall. Mexico's gonna pay for it. <laughs> now I know they didn't pay for shit though, though, right? No, it was part of the uh, American Mexico Canada Canada. I, I, I always <laughs> why the I, fuck I do was it what the fuck was I that? I do it all the, the time. Canada Mexico and American North American Pact or something like that. And there was a whole bunch of trade deals and based on the tariffs and the taxes and the. Uh, you know, subsidies between the trade between our three countries, it ended up being, it ended up working out somehow, whatever. And then, you know, Biden shows up and he stops it. And then we <laughs> have, we have fucking detention centers and fucking uh, on the border in Texas. And it's like 7,000% over capacity based on COVID <laughs> regulations. Are they testing the people for COVID? No, they're not. They, 10%, 10% of the people that are over capacity in these detention centers have COVID. And then they're just releasing them willy nilly into the fucking United States. Be like, hey, uh, we're going to release you, but can you show up to this court date on blah, blah, blah? blah? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah, just, yeah. So wait, we're gonna, you're going to let us, you got to let us out internally into the United States? Yeah. As long as you show up to your court date. Oh, yeah. Sure. Absolutely. We'll be there. We'll be there. No problem. So, so some people go to the court dates. Yeah. People that want to do it the right way. I, I, I get, <laughs> fucking, it's so bad, man. It's so bad. Uh, let me ask you this then. <clears throat> Could you argue, Trump or no Trump, okay. the essence, the vibe doesn't feel as on edge, whether it be from CNN or f- I just feel like it's not as on edge 
I think it's worse. I have I haven't noticed that. You're noticing you're noticing major corporations like Coca Cola, Amazon, um, fucking like Walmart, McDonald's, choosing cultural sides, political sides, woke sides, based on the media narrative of what joe biden says in passing and that motherfucker doesn't have shoelaces he has velcro shoes well well, it makes sense why they would do that though because they're trying to sell to customers and they want to or they know that he's going to tax the ever-living shit out of them and probably a little bit of both and they're trying to make they're trying to make friends like look at the mlb moving the all-star game because of what joe biden said about jim crow laws in georgia pretty much the cliff note version of this whole thing is georgia made a law where you have to have a voter ID to vote. You have to prove that you live in the state to vote. And um, people, uh, partisan people are not allowed to go to voting booths or voting areas. Like, I, if you're waiting in line to vote. And like offer water or something. Yeah, if you're voting in line to vote, I can't give you water if I'm a Trump supporter. Or if I'm wearing Trump sh- People, but no one's saying you can't drink water or have food or bring your own water. People at these polling places are... Uh, Nonpartisan, like they're bipartisan. They they're not wearing Biden gear. They wouldn't be wearing. They're not wearing liberal gear. They're not wearing conservative gear. Not not Trump. Not Biden. They could go out and they could help you. They could give you water. But me wearing a, a Biden from head to toe, I can't walk up to you not knowing what your vote is and give you water. <clears throat> give you water because that might you know sway your vote. And they're saying that that's fucking racist and voter suppression and Jim Crow. Jim Crow doesn't exist anymore. This America is not that America. There's nothing wrong with requiring an ID saying that you live in the state that you're trying to vote from. Whether And it's absentee. But I want you to go to caresnone.com right now. Go check out all my other shit. Get you some dope merch. I'm telling you, it's popping off. Be part of the movement. We over here inspiring people. Caresnone.com. Whether you, you can make it there or not, you just got to prove you're, you're you or you're doing it in person. You got to prove you're you. So the MLB is like, oh, yeah, fucking George is racist. That's ra- voter suppression. We can't do that. So they take them. They take the all star game and they move it to Colorado, which has the same fucking laws, voter ID laws that Georgia just passed. And you're taking it out of Cobb County, Georgia, 63 percent black. And you're take and you're moving it to fucking Denver, Colorado, where it's seventy three percent white. For the yeah, that's kind be, of b- because because of racial tension in Georgia. What the fuck is that? See, I wish I was a little bit more versed on all this stuff. They, they the MLB took one hundred million dollars in revenue from Atlanta for the All Star Game and gave it to fucking Colorado. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up when you look at it like that. That's that's exactly what the fuck happened. <laughs> there, it's, it's not there's not there's nothing racist about requiring an id to vote in the states you want to vote in i don't think so but you but but, but, but what, what, I, so here, what are the other side saying because i you know what i'm saying the other side is saying like 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 objectively what are they saying they're saying it's voter suppression because of um, what because there, there's there's nothing you can't require someone to show an id to prove that they live in a state because honestly it makes it harder for them to cheat you can't just fill out absentee ballots and show up in a truck and be like, these are all votes for so-and-so, such-and-such. Because so, so what is the argument not- for absentee votes? So, like, because there's people that say that they want those, right? People, There are people that want to do absentee votes. Like, Donald Trump did an absentee vote because he voted from Washington, D.C., but he lives in Florida. So he sent his vote to Florida absentee in the mail. Okay. Okay. okay? But requiring a voter ID means, even absentee, means you have to prove that that person on the absentee ballot exists and resides in the state with their driver's license number or whatever. Yeah, I don't see how that's wrong. Yeah. But, I, but my point is I, I want to see what, the, uh, like, I want to have somebody on the, in that seat saying. You can't make up, uh, why, why, is that, why is it right to do that? Like, um, you can't make up ballots. You can't just, John Smith. Yeah, because that, yeah, that seems fucked up. Yeah. That, and you're going to see that in 2022. You're going to see Republicans take the House, the Senate, because you can't because Georgia, whether it was legit or not, when Stacey a- when Stacey Abrams went, ran uh, in 2018, 
she was saying it was uh, she was saying it was voter suppression and the voter turnout and it was racism and everything was rigged. And then 2020 happens and you got Raphael Warnock and uh, the other white guy, Democratic centers. They won. And all of a sudden it's a uh, fucking willy nilly and everything's fine because they had a higher voter turnout of absentee ballots because of this covid shit. They took. Do not. Rahm Emanuel said. um you got to make the best out of chaos. So if you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to let a bad, a bad situation go to waste. So they took COVID and the reason that Biden won and uh, Raphael Warnock and the other guy from Georgia won the Senate is because the turnout of these absentee ballots ballots was ridiculously high. It was ridiculously high and they couldn't verify that these absentee ballots were legit because there was no voter ID. Now there's going to be voter ID, so they can't cheat if they cheated in the future. If they cheated, right? Right. Yeah, man. That the whole the whole political thing, man, and you know, especially during the pandemic, we all everyone was balls deep into them, right? Yep. But I, and you say you notice more of an energy now, and I, I'll be honest, I've even made this statement to other people just in passing when I was talking to them. Like, doesn't it just feel like it's just whether you fuck with him or not? Trump, then it just feel like it's just not as drama. Like I, no, because I, the media fucking loves Joe Biden and the Democrats and what's going on in the White House and stuff. You're not everything that you heard before Joe Biden took office was Trump's a bad man, bad man, bad man, orange man, bad. And now Biden's here and everyone's sucking his fucking dick like he's great. He's not. He's the the media is fine with Joe Biden. They love Joe Biden. They're. I would argue that the media would rather have Trump because he brought fucking oh yeah he brought fucking numbers oh they did no, no one, he absolutely I'll did. be honest, I don't even care to watch. if anything that's fucked up because when Trump was in you want it's like it's kind of like a uh, private parts the movie or well, who's the uh, you ever seen the movie private parts yes who was the uh, R- R- Howard Stern yes it's like you either loved him or you hate him either way you want to see him right. And I feel like Trump was that the way. The ratings were ridiculous. Uh, yeah, and like, they got to be way lower now. The, the, yeah. And that's probably why I why that feels that way to me. And you'll see you'll see them bring him back up all the time. Be Just, like, everything like, yeah. that's happening now. Like, let's, let's get him up. Let's get the, the numbers up. <laughs> the Trump administration did this. The Trump administration did that. The the crisis at the border is because of Trump. But it's I mean, Joe Biden and the Obama administration built these places before Trump even fucking existed. These kids in cage. It was kids in cages when Trump was in in office. Now it's uh, you know, holding centers for <laughs> right, chi- right, right. child it's care all, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's all bullshit. It's it's yeah, it's, it's, it's very bullshit. fucked up. It's just very, it, 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 I think it's all fucked up. It's one center. It's one one sided, and you're seeing you're seeing cancel culture. If if you disagree with the media narrative, if you disagree with like <laughs> CNN, the Biden administration, you're gone. You are fucking gone you are canceled and when when you apologize because you didn't know how racist you were being that's when they chop your fucking head off and you don't exist ever again if someone comes at you for or if someone were to come at me for a tweet from when i was 17 years old i'm fucking 40 okay it's just weird the, the, you're seeing yeah, that's Women dumb. and people that are growing the fuck up that were singing words to a lyric in a song from like 2015 when they were 17, dropping the end bomb, singing a song, and now they can't have a fucking life yeah, because of dumb. shit. They that's so he, he, fucking horrible. Here's what I think too: like most people don't think that that's dumb. Like I like the people that I talk to every day. Everyone thinks that, that shit's stupid. I haven't met anyone who's like, yeah, man, we need to cancel more shit. And the, those people that are like that, they're white. Fucking Democrat Karens. I don't. Even, I don't even know these people. Like, I, I don't, like, do they exist? Like, 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 where? It's, are it's they? These corporations just covering their ass. Like, oh, we won't want this to bite us later on in life. You just can't be here. Yeah, which we, and I, yeah, it makes sense. And as far as the corporations making decisions, and, and you know, because, dude, a lot of these mother. I'm sure they're doing it, and it's not because they're just so fucking noble. It's because they know a lot of the fucking people are going to, if they don't like this move, they're going to fucking boycott you. So I think they're going to make decisions, whether whether the owner agrees with it or not, to to the constituents. So right. I feel like you almost have to, as as a corporation, you almost have to do that because you, you want to serve your people. All right, now let me flip it real quick. 
United Airlines. Tell me how f- whether you agree or you disagree. United Airlines, in the next five years, they want half of their pilots to be a person of color or women. They're pilots. Yeah, see, fifty percent of I, them have to be women or peop- or, or see, person of color. See, I don't like. See, so here's the thing. It, it's tough for me to answer this question because logically speaking, that makes no sense to do that. I want just the best people to do it. You're like, hey, uh, can you fly a plane? Can you land a plane? Don't ask those questions. What color is he? Or is it right. a girl? You now, know, now, that's fucking now, crazy. see, but then I also agree with the point that. Without those kind of decisions being made and going against the grain, would people of color been in the situation they are now? It would it have been as, as easy for us now if those kind of things didn't get brought up in the past? I understand affirmative action, but you're talking about like, I understand affirmative action after the civil rights era. But right now, we're to a point where we have, you know, black presidents, black vice presidents, black brain surgeons. I don't see fucking... Oprah or Meghan Markle struggling, right? Meghan Markle's the she she married the yeah, prince because yeah, yeah. she did, had did she, did she get did she like not wasn't wanted in the family and all kind of crazy shit. She just <laughs> she, she something like that. She did some crazy. speech like three weeks ago where she said that the royal family was concerned about the color of their baby, and now you have this fucking World War II veteran, Prince Philip, the Queen's fucking husband, who just passed. He just fucking passed like like Friday. And everyone's calling him a fucking racist because of what Meghan Markle said three fucking weeks ago. Bitch, you are a B-list actress. I'm sorry, you're not living the dream. Are you stereotyped against because of your fucking skin? You married the prince of fucking England. How hard is your life right now? You think the queen and fucking Prince Philip came up to you and was like, what color is your baby going to be? Because they don't fucking know any better. Her, the only reason the queen of England exists is because her dad became king because her brother... Uh, uh, her uncle okay the queen is the queen because her dad was the king after his brother didn't want it because he married an american england then is not england now england abolished slavery way before we fucking did okay so the queen's uncle didn't want he wanted to be king but he wanted to marry an american that was a no-no so it went to her father he died and she's been queen ever since. And this guy fought, uh, Prince Philip fought in fucking World War II. And because of some shit that fucking Meghan Markle said three weeks ago, everyone's saying, oh, thank God. He deserved it. See you in hell with Rush Limbaugh. I mean, wasn't he like 102? He was about to be 100 in like two months or some, some shit. And you know who showed up? Who, you know who's going to his fucking funeral? Prince Harry. You think Prince Harry would show up if he thought that fucking Philip was racist against his wife? No. He wouldn't. <laughs> you would think, yeah. You would think. It's. it's I saw. A, I saw a meme that it had a picture of his face, the, the dude who died, and he's 102 or whatever. And it goes, it said, "Gone too soon." And then the caption goes, "How long was he supposed to be here?" <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He's like 182. Look, he looks old. Oh too. god, he's ridiculously old. He, like, he's his had skin heart. Was like, he's like. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's had hip brutal. replacements. He's had fucking surgeries, heart surgeries. He, he was due. Like some sure. of those Rothschilds and oh yeah, those motherfuckers are a hundred today. George Soros. Let's get, this, let's get yeah. Let's get into the conspiracy for a second. Something's got to be going on that we don't know about. They're drinking baby blood. <laughs> yeah, the, what is it? Adrenochrome. Yeah, this something like that. Adrenochrome. Yeah. So, listen, what motherfuckers with money? No shit. They have knowledge. Okay, going back to the original point in the beginning of the pod, I'm so addicted to 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 learning new shit, and the way to do that is to be in the room with people that you don't know, meet new people. You know what I'm saying? I'm, right. I'm starting to understand that networking really is the fucking key to life. Right. The who you know, you know, have a good vibe, keep those bridges connected, do the right thing, and then that's how you finagle this world, right? Because, like, for instance hypothetically saying I'm on a wing review and then I remembered your wings I just tried, which were phenomenal, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd be like, oh, you know what? Let me call you up. And then boom. Now, all of a sudden, that, like, that could be a connection now. So my point is, is... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah,
the networking is such a real thing. So I, I want to learn this knowledge and kind of forgot the fuck I was going with that. Uh, baby blood. Oh, with the baby blood. How do you know that they don't listen? I know this it's far fetched, but what what if that shit worked? That's some tribal fucking pagan old school thinking. <laughs> For sure. It's ridiculous. But who's to say? Uh, uh, listen, it's probably crazy, but there's definitely spirit cooking. This motherfucker's doing this shit. There's pictures and shit of spirit cooking. Spirit cooking? Yeah, you never heard of spirit cooking? Was that Casper in the front of the grove making some popcorn? No, 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 no. Spirit cooking. Hold on. What the It's like fuck? a real thing, bro. Let me, let me Google this shit. It's fucking disgusting. What is spirit cooking? Here's a result from search. Oh, he's like, they're like, hold on. <laughs> I don't think we want to go through this. Anyway, spirit cooking, you like, um, you put blood and and certain shit and weird. It's like a ritual, and you you use the blood and and write shit and pe- pentagrams or whatever you call them, and it's like a real thing that like all these successful people do. You like like at, at, like the elites are doing. And then they cook under it. So it's just called spirit cooking, like you're just cooking a spirit, you know. It's like one of the, but these motherfuckers are doing it though. Then there's this one, there's this one part, and this is all real. And the reason I know any of this because in the middle, in the beginning of the pandemic, everyone's got all this fucking time in the world, right? And all the conspiracy shit was floating around, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, let me give it a shot, right? So I dived in, and that's when I was almost on the Trump train, man, because I'm like. And we talked about this before, but I'm like, if this is true that QAnon and a lot of people believe that it was that this is a Trump thing, like that Trump had, might know something. There's a lot of people saying that, it, you know, Trump, you know, we're going to figure it out. And I was kind of like, if this is true at all whatsoever, if the, if, if the Q- QAnons are right and, and, and this side is doing the, the killing kids and babies and shit, and, and Trump is at all a part of cleaning, and- draining the swamp, hold on, hold on, draining the swamp. You're going to win all the votes 100%. Yeah. 100%. Fuck the racism. Fuck all the bullshit. These motherfuckers doing that crazy shit. So I, I, I'm, I'm on the Trump train. You know what I'm saying? Because we'll deal with, like you said, we'll deal with our, our family shit as, as a nation. But they're killing kids. And there's a lot of kids go missing. Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, we, we did. We did. So my point is, so if that shit was true, I was like. It ties to Hollywood, right? Yes. Yep. It all ties to Hollywood. So I'm like, oh, man. But so here's what made me get off of it a little bit. When Trump was getting, whether you agree with it, the votes or not, when it's like we got cheated, right? It's like, well, if you know anything, right now would be the time to drop that bomb because then you're going to win no matter what. Right. And it didn't get dropped. And I'm like, logically speaking, if I have even a little bit that it might be these crazy motherfuckers do some crazy shit, I'm dropping it, and then we're just going to burn this motherfucker down then. Instead of just leaving... Well, I felt like he kind of gave up. If you think about it, when we when when the Trump administration got Ghislaine Maxwell, Epstein's fucking mistress or wife or whatever the fuck she is, how many undercover fucking rings were busted after she got not suicided and and she was fucking caught? Yeah, I, I'm shocked she ain't suicided yet. Yeah, she's not dead yet. But how many? How many fucking? How many A lot kind of popped off like right after. How right? many of those human trafficking rings were stopped? All over the fucking country. It didn't like just, now they just not stopped. Yeah. Now we're, we're not talking. You ever heard? Not yeah. talking about her no more. That's again, like and, I and said. Then, and and you got fucking like Hunter Biden's fucking laptop. Nobody wants to fucking talk about that. That looks bad as shit. He's on. Yeah, the, I don't. So I, I thought it was just drugs or something. Oh, it's drugs. It's prostitutes. He's in lingerie. There's children on it. He, oh no. Yep. It's it's fucking bad. Now, like, there's, there's kids. It, it could be tied, the it hookers could be, and cocaine, whatever. It could be tied. To, <laughs> it could be tied to Epstein Island. It could be tied to the Clintons. It could be tied to Tom Hanks for some reason. Because right after, right after Ghislaine Maxwell got caught, Tom Hanks went and became a citizen of Greece. Yeah, that that, that, that was interesting. Right away. And his Instagrams, his you saw some Deleted, of those. Deleted, like just like mass fucking info dump. Did it, they deleted a lot of the, the post? A lot of his stuff disappeared. Because uh, some of those things were sketch. There was like this one Instagram post he had where it was a picture of a sock like on the street. And it was like the exact same spot where like some kid it was missing. Yeah. And it was like like literally. And they're like, that's weird. There was some symbol or something like a monkey or a chicken or something. 
And supposedly that was part of some sort of a internal, oh, like like Hillary Clinton was talking about like a party and was like, I'll bring the whatever the fuck. Oh, the oh, uh, it was Obama talking about he's going to bring the uh, the hot do- uh, the pizzas. How many pizzas do you want? <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, it was that, something like that. And that was like something about or like, hot dogs or something. And that was the baby blood, <laughs> apparently, or some shit. Yeah, it was, but and and it was in these emails, um, of the of the Obama shit and what he was asking for some weird hot dogs or it was like, the way he was talking about the food isn't it wasn't a natural sentence in how you would talk about food. If you were married to a woman, let's say let's say you married a girl named, I don't know, fucking Michelle. Okay, would you, after being married for like thirty some years, would you, on national television? Address her as Michael by accident? I wouldn't think so. Okay. So why the fuck did Obama do that with Bear Grylls? Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. It's very weird. I was like, maybe it's a fluke. It's just a fucking... I do not... There's this huge thing going around that Michelle Obama is transvestite. And I'm like, you got to come with something deeper than that. And then they would say... Yeah, like, even if it's true, like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I mean, really though. Personally. But uh, whose kids are those? I do like. <laughs> that, that's a more important question. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, who are the kids? <laughs> are, are they Obama's kids or are they Michael's kids? Well, I don't know who's going on, but it's it's just fucking weird. The c- conspiracy shit. Yeah, I, mean, cons- I was yeah. balls deep into that shit for a while. Conspiracy theories are crazy, but I mean, there's for them to exist, there has to be some uh, sort it's of got to be. And the government was the ones who termed, who deemed the term conspiracy theory. Right. Why are we talking about fucking UFO aliens? That documented. Did you? Did you? Are you, are you? So you obviously know about this shit. Yes. The countdown. No. What? Oh. What countdown? Dude, no, I was talking about like <laughs> I was talking about proof that they actually exist. Like you. Well, have, well, there. In, well, it goes into that. There's a countdown from the bill that gets signed in December. I want to say it's 180. Last December. The one that. So there was the, the second bill that, or the third. Yeah, December, December just passed. Okay. And something in the bill of that five thousand page bill. Oh, the relief bill. The relief bill. Oh, God. Something to do with something to do with some fucking aliens, and they're going to have to... This is like a real thing. It's like, this is official, and it's a countdown. It's like 160 days, then they're going to have to let it be known. Like, I'll, I'll Google it. That COVID relief bill has to be fucking public knowledge. I mean, everybody's got to be able to read it, right? That's what I'm saying. I think there's some shit going on. First of all, anybody that's... Like, this is how... This is how... This is why I, I would... I could see you as a conservative in the future, like, like Candace Owens. <laughs> or... Uh, Leroy, Leo Terrell or Dan Bongino. There's plenty of people of color that are Republicans, believe it or not, or conservatives. And um, what the fuck was I about to say? Well, as far as that concerned, uh, the conservatives, I'm probably in the middle. Independent, with a lot of stuff. like an independent, you go a little bit both ways. Because I, I'll be, I, I will listen to Candace Owens, and because I like to think for my fucking self, and some of the shit she says to me sounds on point. Right. The, the thing that she that really makes the most sense I ever heard Candace Owens say was this: that the racial shit always gets m- more heightened around election time. That's true. She they, goes, they they need the black and, and this is what she said. She goes, "You guys let the other side stir that up more, dangling." And I'm like, that kind of makes sense because if you go back every time there's a fucking election. The racial shit, and th- and I and I saw this before this year, and all of a sudden, the election year was like the, the biggest racial one like in a long time. Oh, so, huge! So, you huge. know, the, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, I could see it's like at least turn, or maybe it happened, but then they they like, oh let's take advantage of a bad opportunity, like you were saying. Yeah. So I COVID. How do you absentee ballots? How do you agree? Like, how do you hear that statement? And not think that there's some logic in that statement, you know. And, and listen, there's logic. I'm not going to make them make my decision for me or anyone for that matter. But if you're just cutting motherfuckers off because they're against you and you won't even try to, to try to see, like, try to see the other side of it. Yeah. Then I can't even fuck with you. I think you got to at least take it in. That's what cancel culture is doing right now. Yes. Yeah. It's stupid. You're allowed to have a. Di- this is America. You're allowed to have a difference of opinion. We don't have to see. Or you should be allowed to change too, because I'm telling you right now, yeah. the person who I am today is not the person I was literally three weeks ago, and then let alone ten years ago. And just because I may or may not like agree or disagree with you doesn't mean you can't believe what you believe, right? I'm not gonna sit there and be like, "Oh, I'm right. You're wrong. You can't believe that. Oh, you can't believe that because you're black. Oh, you can't believe that because." You're white. You can't vote for a Republican because you're African American. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, now I've that's one that bothered me for a long time. 
because it almost says like it almost is like a you can't make your own decision. Like if you ain't black, yeah. Like, like I can. Why make, do all black people or people of color have to vote the fucking same way? And listen, and white I, people don't do that shit. And I'm telling you right now, that shit is deep in the culture, and is you know. And I, personally, I think that, that shit is stupid. Because Democrats a, need the vote. They need the. Right, right, right. They need the black vote. And uh, the black vote also comes with a lot of motherfuckers that will vote for the black vote too. You know what I'm saying? So. But Democrats are starting. All right, this is a little conspiracy theory ish. Democrats and liberals are starting to realize that people of color are waking up and they're starting to leave the Democratic side. So in order to eclipse. And do, and you think there's it, it not to interrupt you, but do you mm-hmm. think that has a lot to do with just financing and understanding just knowledge? Or, or, knowledge. Like, you, like we don't have to be on your side just because right. of. It's right. like we're going to make our own decisions, motherfucker. S- socioeconomic standing. Chicago hasn't fucking changed. Um, the inner cities haven't changed. Public schooling hasn't changed for people of color. They're always fucking down and out. It's almost like they have to be on welfare in order to exist. And in order to be on welfare, you have to vote Democratic or some shit like that, which is fucking nuts. Okay. But um, where the fuck was I? No, but they teach you that shit from the jump, though. Yeah, they, they teach you that the Democrats... As a black man, I felt that way. I felt like, oh, I just have to... Literally, not even caring a fuck about politics at all. Didn't know what a politic, what the nothing. Right. I just knew, oh, I, I think I got to be on this side. Right. And Without that, even knowing anything about any... I don't even know the facts or nothing. All I know is, oh, if you're black, on you're on this side. And then, as you know me, I try to be more woke. I believe in when everyone else goes left, most of the time I go fucking right. Right. Because I don't want to just follow it. So I started having these thoughts. Like, you want to have the conversation of a difference of opinion, because I, what I'm learning is just the way, just because you were taught something the way it was and you thought it to be, I'm like that don't mean it's right, right or wrongs. And I, I'm learn, I'm like unlearning a lot of shit. You're allowed to disagree. You're allowed to have conflict of opinion. You're allowed to have a, a right side of the aisle, left side of the aisle. But now it's like if you don't believe with the media narrative or the democratic mindset. You need to be canceled. You need to be silenced. You're seeing a lot of you're see- seeing a lot of conservative voices um, take hits on their media, their social media. I took a small one, believe it or not, just because I'm a co- I'm a conservative voice. But what I was saying was, I think Democrats and liberals are starting to realize that the black vote is waking up. Whether they stay or whether they go, they are losing voters. And that's why they're taking so much. That's why the border is open. Because you have, if you take illegal immigrants by the hundreds of thousands and you place them. And they can get a vote. And you place them in, in places that they're losing black votes. The black voice in America is going to be fucking gone. It is going to not exist. Because you're going to have the illegal vote doing whatever the fuck the government wants them to do because they don't know any better until they wake up. If you go to Hispanic people that have jumped to the conservative side, they're not going they're not going to be like, "Oh, I came from Cuba, I came from Venezuela, I came from Colombia, I came from Argentina, a place of socialism." And then they're going to look at America and they're seeing the same shit happen right now. And they're like, "I'm not going to fucking let that happen." Why would you take why would you run away from a country and come to a country that offers you solace and wave your flag that you're trying to escape? It doesn't make any fucking sense. So you don't want... If, if the black boy vote is going to be eclipsed by illegal immigration, and I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan of uh, the left and uh, Democrats because they realize that the, the black vote is becoming more independent on their own decision making and they don't have to vote democrat like or they be f- or that it's going to force that side to to start waking the fuck up like if you don't vote for me you ain't black that's shit right so yeah that's not going to fly that's that's going to keep dying for a while that's so fucked up so what i'm saying is maybe you it's going to scare them into all right no no make some real actual fucking moves and then that's how you will get the vote actually do something right you know, so so either a it's gonna force them to to do the right thing, or they're gonna just scam their way out of it and use the illegal vote, right, to get their shit. It's, it's don't you don't you feel like this when it comes to to politics? A lot of times, a lot of shit is in the middle, man. Like it's supposed to be, right? Like just the way yeah. I feel is just my opinions. I'm like, no, I kind of agree with these parts of this, and I I agree about that kind of part. And I feel like that's I don't even like the party system. 
I don't even like the fact that it's you have to you have to be one or the other or you know because then everybody knows if you're in the middle you ain't getting the real vote. They don't really right. So it's like you got to be Democrat or Republican, right? Mm-hmm. And it just feels like well, it it don't feel that cut and paste or you know black and white. It, if it's like no, like I feel like there's got to be a better way. I just feel like <laughs> there's got to be. Personally, I don't think government should be in people's lives unless it's an absolute necessity. Right. So like COVID existed, COVID happened. Uh, the government shut a whole bunch of shit down to fucking slow the curve. The government needs to be there to help. But now that there's been a political shift, the government wa- doesn't want to relinquish that control on the people. The The, the government wants the people to rely right. on the government. But, yeah. but America as freedoms that we're like, we deserve to live our own life. We deserve to make that choice. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you want to fucking socially distance, socially distance. That's fine. If I go into your place of ben- business and you w- ask me to wear a mask and I don't normally wear a mask, I will do that because it's your fucking business. And it just it's just it's a respectful thing. The, I think the government thinks that we are incapable of taking care of ourselves. That's the fuck up. That's my that's my that's my problem. So what what how, you, how what about if I say the same thing about like a social media platform? It's like well you're on this company's platform and then they choose to do business this way. They do that. They do that. Facebook and that's what Twitter I'm saying. Doing it now they so totally canceled out Trump. He doesn't exist anymore. On this. But my so but, but but what the argument would be is well he didn't follow even though you don't agree with the the people who runs it with their idea of how to live life. But you're on their platform and if you don't obey by our rules and our platform then you can get the fuck off. It, what what applies to some should apply to the others though. I I think whatever. It, no, that's a problem. That's a problem. Left or right, I mean you know that's I mean Trump was canceled. He he was off those platforms. If he was reelected, he would still be on those platforms. I think he would. I I, I think he definitely would be. It's just it's just it's it's fucked up. It's one sided. They're, they're they're picking sides. Corporations are picking sides. What applies to one should still apply to the other, whether it's left, right, or fucking center. That's what I think. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I would like to get uh, get you get the on here with you because uh, I think that'd be a, or no, Mike, Mike would be a good one. We can get you on with a couple. I gotta well, we learn got the round thing. table, motherfucker. I said the round table. No, uh, it's it's just, it's not the table that's set up. It's this. What I, I, I it's the <laughs> fucking behind the scenes. I don't. I gotta learn it. I tried it a couple times. I couldn't figure it out. You set up. You got another spot for another mic. Well, right? I got Zoom. No, yeah, I got four, two more. So you you put you put the two you put the two mics on the outside. You put the one the the third mic like the Yeti or something in the middle. And then you fucking turn all three of those on and at a table. And we're all sitting here and all three of those mics would, ki- would would pick up probably what we need for all of us to have a fucking conversation at a table. Yeah, but this, I mean, the, I, I, I literally have the program <laughs> to do it. It's just a matter of pressing a button that I don't know what to do. And it's like a learning curve. Where's Tom? Tom? Yeah, where I need fucking, fucking Tom. Tom. All, although, but I do have, uh, I set up the Zoom three-way now. I did the first Zoom for three people. Nice. I, and I'm actually going to upload that today. I'll upload this one in a few Can't days. Can't you do it where it's like a classroom setting where you got a whole bunch of... We could do we could do it through that way. Like a wanna. bunch? Yeah, but, well, now I got the, I could do multiple Zooms. Before, you had to pay for that feature. Ah. So I was doing... You don't have to pay for it if it's just one. Right. But when you have more than one, which I just learned the hard way, uh, when I when I record the podcast with Joey and De'Eric, which, like I said, I'm, I'm downloading today, they're like, well, you can't watch it because we have a three limit, but you can pay for the thing. Right. And then I was like, so I just recorded this whole fucking two hour podcast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I can't use it unless I pay. It's kind of vicious. That's fucked. But then I was like, can well, you save the audio though? No. Oh. No, you can get it up to 40 minutes. Oh. And I went, we went past 40 minutes. So I was like, no, well, you knew it. And if you read the fine print, we were going to cut it off. So, right, right. So, fucking but print. it makes the sense. Fine print. Fuck. But I was like, you know what? No, I got to do this because. I'm going to have more three now. Yeah. So it was like, it was a good investment. Actually. Yeah. I'm in whenever you want, man. You, you're so that to be a good way to get, to get more than one off top, but I want to get it in because in person, get another person in to be even, you, you know, bounce off each other. I know, facial expressions. I know. I don't, man. I don't know. We can do it. We'll, we'll, we'll make it, we'll make it work. Well, guess where we're at, man. Uh, oh. an hour and 27 minutes. One thirty three. God. One thirty-three, six minutes. I think I think Steve, <laughs> I think Steve is the Steve's only one. He got, it was like it was like seconds. Oh, yeah. that fucker! He's, he's so good with numbers. He always isn't he he's a fucking gooner. And he won't. Has he always been? He's always been with ridiculous. numbers. Yeah, he's like, like you know what? Um, does he listen to the podcast? Yeah. Okay. There, I can name one thing that would absolutely piss that man off, and that's Jason Capono from UCLA Bruins. 
<laughs> oh, I think he does hate Capone. Though. Yeah, yeah. Th- that man ruined something fierce back in the day <laughs> when he when he was so fucking livid. Jason Capone, he's not a fan. But uh, we were talking about doing the um, Crosstown this year. The Sox Cubs. Oh, oh, oh the game. Oh, yeah. Baseball. Yep. Oh. Yep. So. Well, but he's like such a numbers dude. Oh, he's always been. Yeah, he's ridiculous. In like in like his math game, and, but he don't like when you talk about it though. He's like humble about. It. He's like no, I'm like nigga, what? If- yeah, until you ask him, oh, how long you think, blah, blah, or what do you think the number, and, blah, 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 and then and then he's gonna give you a legit fucking answer. He's gonna think about it too. I'm telling you, man. I'll but be he like- beats he beats himself up if he's wrong. Like I'm, I'm sure when he was off by a couple seconds or whatever the fuck, he was like, oh. no, because that. Well, no, because he crushed everyone else. So he's. Like, I'm sure. Yeah, no, that wasn't. But like, you gotta get him back on. But like math. Yeah, like I'm telling you, any math, he just like oh, one, two, three, four, five. He's like one of those niggas. I'm like, how do you do it? I I can't do that. I can't. My math skills are hard. and like in trying to do a business that's not the greatest asset. <laughs> like to, to try to run a business. Well, you know a guy, so. Well, I know a guy, and listen, at the end of the day, you can write it down. But now I got like literally, I can't just so. All right, man. Well, we're gonna end this, man. I'm gonna get to these hot wings. Sounds good. You, where can they catch you, man? You can catch uh, the Gray Area podcast on any platform that streams podcasts. So you could go to thegrayarea.com and you could find all of the links for everywhere. I'm on iTunes. I'm on Spotify. I'm on Google Play. Wherever you listen to a podcast, I am there. I am all over the place. And uh, you can go to thegrayarea.com and or contact me on social media or Facebook, uh, Twitter, the Gray Area One. Instagram, the gray area one. I got a TikTok, the gray area. That's so much fun. Man. Yeah, TikTok, it's addictive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just search the gray area, D A G R A Y A R E A, and you can find me. Uh, you can find me at Cares, Chris Cares None on any platform uh, or caresnone.com, which is a link to all the other shit, which is kind of dope. Proud sponsor of the gray area podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's it, man. And as always, bye. Cares not, <laughs> nigga. <laughs>